I just recently went to the Human Rights Museum here, and it's an incredibly powerful experience. Thing is, my thoughts went in a slightly different direction. There's a lot that we've done. There's a lot we still have to do in terms of abuse, in terms of not treating others appropriately. But there's one type of abuse that happens virtually every day that virtually everyone partakes in and allows to happen. And I'm going to go so far as to say that possibly you allow this to happen every day as well. And that's exactly what I want to talk about in today's vlog. So what type of abuse is it that happens day after day all around the world? And as I said, pretty radically, just before the break, that probably you partake in and allow to happen every day. It's what happens up here. It is that incessant head chatter, the criticism, the self-criticism, the beating ourselves up, the abuse of ourselves, always shooting ourselves down, discounting ourselves, finding all of the things that we did wrong and allowing ourselves to beat ourselves up over and over again, day in and day out. So many people I've worked with, in fact, probably the majority of people that I've worked with find that there's, they have no control over that monkey mind, that head chatter that goes on over and over, and it's constantly, incessantly attacking them, beating themselves up, finding ways that they screwed up every little thing that you did wrong you focus on and you beat up over and over and over again now there's another uh, vlog where I showed you how you can actually start to uh, shut that down and I'll put the link to that in the write-up for this for this particular post but the other thing you've got to realize why this is important is that we create images self images of who we are and that is shaped by these thoughts. So if you're constantly berating yourself and, and shooting yourself down for all the things, all the tiny little things you screwed up, what you're going to do is you'll create a self-image, an internal default GPS setting of all of these mess-ups. And that's how your unconscious mind sees you and that's what it tries to keep making happen this doesn't make logical sense doesn't make any rational sense but your unconscious mind is like a five-year-old kid it just never ever grows up and the huge dangers that we program in every day with these thoughts that go on so if you can first and foremost shut off that head chatter, shut off that internal dialogue, and you'll find out how through the link I, I provide on this. Second, start focusing on the things that you actually do well, the things that you are excelling at, the things that you feel really good about, that you can feel that you've accomplished. You'll start to change that program, and you'll start feeling better about yourself and what you're doing in the world. Simple things but it can make all the difference in the world in terms of who you are, how you show up in the world, and how you interact with others. Try it out. See what a difference you can make for yourself within a few weeks. <laughs> 